All right, so I just wanted to put a video together on how to do this. Um, basically a pumpkin box. You're gonna need a silhouette. Um, I'll link a description on where you can find these. There are probably 400, if not more, on this, on this website I use. Um, I use a um, piece of plywood because it's pretty much what I have an abundance of right now. Um, cut it down so the silhouette will fit. Somewhat perfect. I mean, it will hang off the sides. Use some, I use Elmer's glue. Um, I've tried using that stuff you spray on and uh, it doesn't usually come out very well. Or the point where you put the piece of paper down, it doesn't seem to want to really stick. I found that Elmer's glue actually works very well. So with this, uh, I'm not going to edit it. It's all going to be real time. Um, that way if I do make a mistake, then you will see it in real time. So after you got the, the glue all the way down, doesn't need to be perfect. Doesn't really need to coat everything, but it does help. Take your uh, silhouette, match it up to the corners, or at least the top, make sure it's flat there. And just kind of push it down. With it like this, if you're going to do it in a scroll saw, with it, if you're going to use a scroll saw for it, um, you need a razor blade. Knife works too. Just cut it off. Make sure nothing overhangs. You don't want to. Oops. This one's a little small. Probably need a new. A little bit more blade for it doesn't have to be perfect you just don't want this coming off the white part is pretty much you're gonna sand off after you're done cutting it anyway you can use a knife but a knife is not normally sharp enough um, after you've gotten it down and you've pushed everything in Usually that's when the bubbles start forming. So you want to spend a few minutes and make sure everything's flat. None of the bubbles are popping up. So let's throw this stuff away. Alright. Next thing you want to do, if you're gonna do a scroll saw or a jigsaw or whatnot. I don't know the blade size on a jigsaw, but scroll saws normally about three sixteenths. Yeah, come on, right, put that away. I'll cut myself. I use a, a block like this to uh, you know, if I screw through it, or if I screw when I screw through this, it'll go into something else. With a jigsaw. You need a place to put a blade. So you're gonna take the drill, go through. This doesn't have to be perfect. Just try not to drill outside the line because then it will really suck for you. Depending on who you are, I however hole here. Sometimes I can usually make another hole so it gives me more of a relief when I start sawing out these pieces. So I'm going to try and make a three-part video uh, considering this would be kind of my second vlog but first one ever posted to YouTube. 
I'm going to try and make the whole thing for you guys. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to end it as part one here. Part two, uh, I'm going to cut it. Part three, I will show you um, generally how to make the light for the stem um, as best I can. Um, this uh, phone holder that I have it on right now is actually a prototype. I, had, I actually just built this to hold my phone so that I could do this video. Um, hopefully this will work when I do the scroll saw. Um, because I have no other options. So hopefully this video works for you. Um, and I'll see you in part two.